First single Asian guy, Renee. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Asian dude. I used to be single too. Life was so much better. Because <laughs> a while ago, driving all the way here, I, we almost had a fight, my wife and I. Because I was listening to the radio and she was playing with the volume. Like I said, stop playing with the volume. I'm not playing with the volume. You are. But I shit you not, the song sounds like this. I don't know how much, <laughs> but I know how I love you. <laughs> Let me be, 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 be. Oh, I, 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 I was a music lover. I, I loved the Backstreet Boys when I was a kid. But did you know that the Japanese people came up with their own Backstreet Boys now? After 20 years. And they just called them Bakuro Street to Boys. With the first single, Get the Downer. Damn. Thank you. I see a lot of white people. I miss you guys. I miss your lawn. I miss cutting your grass. I'm glad you're here to visit me. Well, aside from being Mexican, I'm not limited to that. I'm also part Filipino and part Indian. Which means I'm racially screwed. Like, if I'm a food item, I'll be a burrito stuffed with curry rice dipped in bagoong. I can tell you it's tasty. Ask my wife. She tasted it. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm from San Diego, the Mexican part of San Diego. It's called San Diego. We're all Mexicans there. Mm -hmm. my, my dad is a luchador. You know what a luchador is? And he likes to hit people and make shitty reasons. Like one time he hit me. Oh, you didn't see that coming, me, how did you? Like, Dad, I'm eight. Hey, what's that for? That's for not treating the car. We have a car? And my dad was illegal too. So one time... <laughs> <laughs> He's being a luchador is his way into San Diego. So he was illegal, but one time there were two white guys on the front door. They were looking for my dad, so I told my dad, Hey, Papa, uh, two white guys on the door looking for you. Uh, they're wearing black suits. So he was scared. Uh, what am I going to do, mijo? Uh, whatever happens, uh, go take care of your mama. Because he's too drunk and stoned at the same time. <laughs> and butt naked. <laughs> He answered the door. And then when he opened the door, the first white guy said, Have you found Jesus? <laughs> but he still got deported, by the way. So, my mom, uh, she was a single mom after my god and god, dad got deported. But she takes care of us. Uh, I love my mom though, she always tells me na napulot ka lang sa sain ng kalabaw. <laughs> and uh, my mom always make up her things that she can't buy. Like on my sixth birthday, I, could, I will never forget this. Um, my mom gave me laundry clips. You know Seep It? Yeah. yeah? Seep It. Like I was so mad. This is my sixth birthday, why did you give me laundry clips? And she apologized. I'm so sorry enough. I give you the receipt because Lego is too expensive. <laughs> well, you can make a robot with your receipt and help mommy put the clothes on the sampayan with your robot. <laughs> and when you grow up, you can build a seat land. <laughs> yeah. well, well, when you grow, when you're growing up, especially me, I live in a Mexican Filipino home. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, like our house is situated in a place filled with white houses and white people, and my dad decided to paint our house purple and yellow. Uh, every time I ask my friends to come over, I have to explain to them that I'm not rich, I don't live at Taco Bell. <laughs> and when you're a teenager, it's hard, because my mom has collections of the saints, Jesus Christ, and Mother Mary, all the pictures and the statues. Like, you cannot lie, you cannot steal, it's hard to masturbate in front of Mother Mary. She's everywhere. 